coach just talk about the feeling here to be named the 10th head coach in program history? How great does it feel to be back knowing you played here under Hall of Fame coach Lori, uh, Lori Perkle? Yeah, it, it's an amazing feeling. Uh, I don't know that you can really capture the emotion in words when you see everyone here uh, that's cheering for you, happy for you, being supportive of you. Uh, it is a dream come true. And, and I don't even know that I, I knew that it was until it actually happened. Uh, so I'm incredibly thankful for all the awesome people that have showed up already. So you mentioned earlier in your press conference the support the players, the teammates, the communities have given you. Just talk about how great it was to see that just in the short time being back, seeing that love, that support for uh, alumni like yourself, just talk about how great it is to see the community already be behind your back and support what you're going to be doing. Home. It matters. One of the things that I learned at Memphis was how important the community is because it's such a basketball city. So many people showed up every day. And so that feeling is something that I hadn't had in a, a very long time. And so to come here, moving is always something that makes you nervous. You know, changing jobs, getting to know people, all those things make you nervous. And so all the nerves have been removed because of all the people that have showed up today. The messages that I've received from other coaches, uh, just how excited everyone is for me to be back. Now, this is an area you are very familiar with. A, playing here, Wright State being right up the road. You emphasize a little bit on the uh, aspect of the recruiting in this area. How great is it to know an area like this so predominantly well that you do and the big emphasis in recruiting heading into the Big 12? Yeah, I think it's huge just knowing who the people are. I mean, there are a lot of coaches around here, uh, a lot of people that are alums of this program that grew up in this city. And I think some people would love nothing more than to see some of their players or their nieces or their daughters wearing Cincinnati and being a Bearcat. And I think that that's a huge advantage for us, uh, but it will take some work. Again, there are a lot of Division I schools in Ohio. Uh, there are a lot of really great programs and coaches in the area. So we will, we'll have to, to work really, really hard, but I do think that this is a place where we can pull some of the best players. Now, you talked about your time at Memphis here a short, uh, short time ago, 22 and 11 on the season. What should people know about what your coaching style is heading into this next step for you? What should people be on the lookout for as you make this transition into the next journey? Yeah, I think that you're going to see a team that plays really hard. And we, we believe in rebounding the ball. We believe in defending. Um, we just really believe that things are important um, to translate onto the floor. And so we're going to invest in our young people know so that they know that they are cared about, that they are loved, and that we plan on that turning into them creating even more effort in an atmosphere and environment and floor. Um, so I'm excited for that. I, I think that we're just going to be tough, gritty, defending and rebounding. Also, my final question for you is, what's the message you want to spread to this Bearcats fans and the community here in Cincinnati? Yeah, we're going to work really hard, and we need you, want you to show up for us the way that we're going to show up and be in the community as well. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.